I sit down and, and talk to you. Now, as you know, I was appointed a member of the Royal Commission, and uh, I can mention this to you. We were very concerned with the, the state of affairs concerning the police, and it was decided unanimously. There's not one dissenting voice to set up or to propose the setting up of an independent uh, police complaints and misconduct commission. So as a result of that, we looked at the practice in the UK, and we looked at practice in Australia, particularly in Queensland, and in New South Wales, where the police forces there were known to be extremely corrupt, more corrupt than our own. And you wouldn't believe it, but uh, you know, it was bad in Australia. So in Princeton, they had the, um, the special commission set up to inquire into this, the Fitzgerald Commission, and in New South Wales, it was the Wood Commission. And also, in uh, Western Australia, they had another commission, you know, there was a meeting of senior police officers, and the commissioner of police said, if there is one police officer here who can put his hand on his heart and say that he has never taken a bribe, please stand up. Not one of them stood. So you see, police corruption is not a Malaysian problem alone. It is a worldwide problem, and that was the reason why we decided that it is terribly important for the police to have an oversight committee. Why it was important for ordinary citizens to form this committee. The purpose obviously is to protect the police against uh, unjust complaints. But at the same time, to protect all of us against police abuse of power. So this is really the reason why it was thought necessary to have first an independent commission and not to allow any policeman, police officer, or any police, um, even a retired uh, police officer, to be on the commission. But as you can see, the proposed um, a special complaints commission is made up of the IGP, the head of ACA, and the Auditor General, and so on and so forth. Now, this has made a mockery of what was intended to be a mechanism, both to protect the police and to ensure that we have a more efficient and a less corrupt police, but also to protect ordinary people from police excesses. So this is a matter of the greatest disappointment, not just to those of us who spend, and no doubt we were paid allowances, etc., for the work we did, but we spent a lot of time traveling up and down the country to together. I think a very comprehensive report, 125 recommendations, but the most important and the most central to the whole issue of police efficiency um, is really the, um, the uh, recommendation on the setting up of the Independent Police Complaints and Misconduct Commission. But obviously, this has now been completely turned upside down. The original draft was prepared by some very eminent people in the legal profession, the former uh, Lord President himself, uh, Tun Sai Abbas. Uh, we had uh, done uh, another uh, 
um, Chief Justice, uh, former Chief Justice, Bill Zaidin, and then we had the President of the Bar Council, and they were all very eminent people. And yet, the government today has seen fit to change all that and to produce a bill which on the face of it is really, really represents a very serious impact. It is a mockery. It shows a complete, total disdain for fairness, justice and equity. It shows total disrespect for public opinion. This is not the sort of document we want to see as part of our um, laws in this country. In fact, I think it is an insult to Parliament itself to even debate a document such as the one which is now uh, before uh, the House. So, to say that I'm disappointed is really an understatement. But I think, you know, this sense of disappointment, this sense of quiet outrage is felt by all right people, people who are hoping that at long last this would be a rare opportunity for Malaysia to change the way they please the country. Now, as I said before, there is no police force in the world, you just give me any police force, that has been known to be able to police itself. This is why we need to police that. This is why we need this independent oversight group or committee. But obviously, if this bill goes through, I think, you know, we can say goodbye to all these high hopes and aspirations that one day we will have the best police force that money cannot buy. Thank you.